We're going to talk today about compositions, and compositions are transformations where one is followed by another. So what this is is really just a combination of transformations. We could do a reflection and a rotation and then a translation. We could do a couple reflections in a row. We could do a rotation and then a reflection. So there's many, many combinations that we can do. Um, there's a couple theorems here, which is for us like vocabulary. So this is something that you want to make sure you know. Uh, one is a translation or rotation is a composition of two reflections. So um, if you reflect something twice, that could be a translation or it could be a rotation. We'll see that in a second. All right, so down here, this is what this is talking about. If you reflect over two parallel lines, so if we take this original shape, reflect it over this line, and reflect it again over that line, okay, this is going to be actually a translation. So this is something that you're gonna to want to know. All right, this here says a composition of reflections over two intersecting lines is a rotation. So if we start at this shape and we reflect it over this line and reflect it again, this would be the same as a rotation. Okay. All right, down here, this is uh, pretty important for us to know. There are only four isometries. We've talked about three so far. We've talked about translations, reflections, and rotations. The fourth one is what we call a glide reflection. So a glide reflection would be a translation to some given location followed by a reflection. And when that occurs, the original shape and the image are going to be congruent. So they're going to be isometry. So here's an example of one type of problem that's a composition. Here is triangle TEX, and what we're going to do is we're going to use this vector, which means we're going to go down five units and then reflect over the line x equals zero. So we go down five units, we graph the points, and then we reflect over the line x equals zero. Recall x equals zero is a vertical line. y equals zero is a horizontal line, which is the x-axis. x equals zero is the y-axis. So for compositions, it's really important to know vertical and horizontal lines, so make sure to review those notes um, so that you're prepared. So x equals zero is gonna be this line, so we're gonna take this triangle and reflect it over that line to here. And this is gonna be the image of that composition. All right, here's a, here's a problem where they give you the pre-image and they want you to graph it. So we graph these points here. Then the first, transformation we're going to do is rotate it 180 degrees. Now you can turn your paper if you wish or use the rule and in this case the rule is we're going to change the signs of the x and y coordinates. They stay in the same place. So 0, 0 will become 0, 0. 8, 1 becomes negative 8, negative 1. Negative, uh, 5, 5 becomes negative 5, negative 5. And then we graph that triangle here. So this would be a rotation of 180 degrees. Then we're gonna take the green triangle now and reflect it over the x-axis, which is gonna reflect it up. So when we're done with that, these are gonna be the coordinates of it. Now because we've, we've done one image, the second image we're gonna call it as a double prime. So this was a prime, this is a double prime. B double prime and C double prime. So when we reflect over the x-axis, we're gonna end up above it in this case. The last transformation we're going to do is a translation, and this tells us we're going to go six right and one down. So from all these values, we're going to add six to the x and subtract one from the y. And we end up with a triple prime. And when we're done, we go six right and one down, and we end up with our triangle here. Now these are just a few examples of what's possible. So this is a good time in the unit to do this lesson because we can review rotations, translations, and uh, reflections because we're just combining them.